So I noticed a few days ago, I think actually during Monday's livestream, that we are slowly closing in on 5,000 total gold harvest in Call of the Wild. We're at 4,678 right now, so we're still a bit away, but it'll actually happen pretty fast, I think, and that would definitely be a gold, so might have to shoot that. That guy probably is too, but I think the bear is a little more interesting. But yeah, uh, the ultimate goal of this video is going to be to kill golds, because I did a video for reaching a thousand, I think like after Verhunga came out, somewhere in that time frame. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a little more for like 5,000, make a little bit of a series out of it, actually just hunting for golds, because I like doing stuff that's just different, you know, not always hyper-focused on diamonds and rares. Of course, if we can run into diamonds and rares while doing this, that's just a huge bonus. But we're pretty much going to try to just kill every potential gold animal we see and kind of get that count up a little. But actually, starting with a not bad one. Brown 851, that's kind of interesting. Heart shot him as well with that follow-up. But I'm doing multiplayer just because, like, you know, basically I want to do something different. And it does, like, force me to hunt different things, and I talk about this a lot. Like, basically, I hunt the time that is good for drinking in whatever server I'm in. Right now, it's kind of nothing. Uh, elk and blacktail will start drinking a little bit later. So I'm kind of hunting feed zones at the moment, or whatever else we can run into. I don't know if that guy's big enough, but, I mean, we might as well get him. We're just kind of... Passing time at the moment till it's better time for stuff. But I didn't really see, like, anything else here. Oh, well, I guess I should have looked a little closer. Maybe we can get that anyway. He's kind of running at a good angle. That should work, and he's a four, so that one will definitely be gold. And this guy's actually just barely going to make it as well. It's like that really narrow rack. I didn't know that can make gold, but good to know. And our black tail shouldn't be too far. And he's actually decent as well. 865, so that's three already. This is the ugliest elk. Like, what happened to him? He is a four, so he'll make gold, but like, what the heck? He's even like pretty big. 879, but... Man. Yikes. I'm pretty sure that guy should make gold. Not 100%, but I'm almost sure, like, with that rack. They're usually, like, low 800s or somewhere in that area, so... Hopefully. And... That's just a doe. So, yeah, that actually is a gold. Right on 800, though. Couldn't have gotten any smaller, but... I believe that's our fifth one now. Ooh, hello there. This is why I like doing stuff that's different, because when stuff's different, you just, you end up doing other things, and you run into cool stuff. Now, I'm pretty certain that is the diamond rack, like the guaranteed one. Although I also think I've seen level fours with that, so... I'm not going to say it's a guarantee, especially not the way he's glitching around on that kind of cliff over there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for actually getting him, but I have not shot a level 5 elk in a while now, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the plan. He's definitely, like, glitched. I'm going to... Yeah, he's still not sitting still. I'm going to fast travel away, just, like, far away so I'm out of his render so he's not like, gonna be stuck there, because kind of, when you're really far from other animals, they still have their AI, they still do their thing, but there's no, like, hitboxes that can affect them, so I'm just gonna hang out here for, like, a minute, wait a sec, that's just a four, right? Okay, uh, maybe I'll just go kill that? We have time, so we'll get him, and then we'll go back to the other spot, and the good thing is, I am now the host of this server, so I can change the time back to go get the five if we have to. He is a weird one. I think he might have one, like, diamond or almost diamond side. But I think because the 300 is super accurate, as long as we can just aim a little above his 
uh, head, like kind of at the base of his neck. We're probably going to be good. I just want my heart rate to calm down. He's probably going to lift his head. And then we'll go for it when he actually goes to drink again. I've not seen a lot of super uneven ones like that, though. That's kind of cool. Let's go for this. Wow, that was quick. All right. Can you cooperate just a little bit? There we go. But yeah, he's actually kind of neat. Not even that big. I mean, 915's solid. I don't know if I'd use that, but just because he's got such a weird rack and he actually is kind of high scoring, I will mount him. And now we're going to go see if the five decided to chill out a little bit. Hmm, not so much. So apparently he just wants to stay there. All right, new plan. We are going to change the time and then change it back because maybe that'll actually cause him to like warp away or something because I'm not going for that. So the good news is, while we wait a little bit, we have a chance for another goal. And I think that'll do just fine. So that should be like the seventh one if I'm counting right. But yeah, he's actually not half bad. 866, got the heart shot. So before I change the time, I want to go see if he's still stuck there because hopefully he won't be. And then we should be able to go from there. And I see no sign of a stuck level five elk. So we will go ahead and make it their drink time again. And hopefully we can get him. So I think this is going to be his track. He's 474.24, which without high trophy rating probably isn't going to make it. I know we killed a diamond. I think he was 476 and he scored in the 960s. So there's a chance. He's not at this lake, but I've got just now track. So I don't know like if I can't see him or what's going on, but at least I kind of know what we're dealing with. Okay, uh, found him. I'm not brave enough to take that shot, even though I know it's really close. So he was up there, and he... I've seen this with true racks. You can get them where they, like, change their antlers sometimes. So he's a lot wider now than he was when we initially saw him. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know what that weight. Okay, that's gonna be him. I don't know if I love that angle. That's a lot better. gonna put that like lung liver area just to be safe so the good thing is actually there's two good things with him being that low weight number one uh we're hunting gold so if he doesn't make diamond ultimately he adds to our gold total number two he's still bigger than what i have in my lodge currently but that said i still really want him to make diamond and we definitely made a good enough shot so we just gotta hope for high trophy rating and see what we got He's a diamond, no way. 950. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. You could uh, you could probably hear it. I was not expecting that. Wow. All right. I really didn't expect to see that diamond pop up. Got that lung liver stomach in there just because I was afraid of shooting through the shoulder and not penetrating to like the far side lung. But he's crazy wide. He doesn't have, like, any points. He's only a 5x5? Five five? Still cool, though. They'll be really good contrast, because our other diamond's, like, super narrow and kind of wonky looking. That'll look awesome opposite him. All right, it's very ugly, but that is a level 4 elk, which, as long as I can not glitch my guns and hopefully make the shot, he will make gold. And I want to get to, uh... Hopefully 10 total on the hunt, because I was going to go for like 20, but then half the hunt turned into a diamond hunt, which, uh, as you could tell, I kind of really wanted that elk. Um, so we're just going to go for 10 and pretty much be happy that we got something good in the process as well. So yeah, nice little 859. Actually, nice might not be the right word for those antlers, but we'll go with it. And I think that's eight as long as I'm remembering right, so we should need two more. That is a wonky looking four. There's also another four there, so we can maybe get both of our golds. Just kind of like, I want to be able to try to go for both. I really don't love my chances of getting 
like two lung shots from up here. That's a four. I kind of want to kill that one just because he looks really goofy. But he'd be an easier second shot, so I guess we'll try this. Okay, we definitely got the second one. I think the first one we messed up, so probably have to get one more, but I'm at least happy we got the one that I wanted. Wait, actually, that's a level four? I didn't realize there was another four here. Just going to kind of single lung them there to make sure we get them. So this will be the one that we messed up. Mm, kind of was higher than I wanted to be. I'm not, I'm not too sure I could have reached the lungs anyway, because I tried to do basically what I just did on the other one and kind of went for a frontal single lung hit. Now what the heck? That is a weird looking black tail. I kind of like it. I'm not going to mount it because I don't have anywhere to put it. And I did that a lot. Like, I had a bunch of deer that I mounted and then just had nothing to do with. But that's a gold. And then we should have gold number 10 for the video here. Which I think is going to actually wrap it up. Because as I said, we ended up spending like a good 35 minutes or so chasing that elk. But yeah. 869. So we are now just to check. Uh, 4,688 gold. We actually, though, we made progress on getting our golds closer to 5,000. And we got a diamond in the process, so I don't think I could have asked for much more. But, like, he's super wide. The difference is insane. Like, this is a 965. I think he's a 7x7. Seven seven, and he's, like, a lot more narrow. And this dude's just basically all main beams getting him to diamond. But it is cool. It's cool to actually have two diamond elk that are that much different in the lodge. And really starting to bring this Leighton room together. There's a couple of things that I want to add. Well, Leighton and Yukon, North America, basically. But anyway, yeah, we got our golds kind of increased a little bit. Getting closer to 5,000. I don't know when we'll actually get there. But I think, like, probably in less than a month or two. We'll probably have it, depending on how much I actually go for it. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.